Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Bar-L. Um, unfortunately, today I'm going to have to make a little bit of a sad episode over here. Um, so basically what happened is I'm getting now more and more reports of people saying that their Nintendo Switch has bricked uh, using third-party USB-C. Uh, you know adapters or docking stations or whatever now I, I reviewed for you guys this Antec right here uh, I haven't had any issues because I'm trying I'm desperately trying to duplicate uh, the problem so I can you know um, try to come out with some kind of fix my friend bricked his entire uh, you know Nintendo switch so I know exactly how he feels like except he had warranty a lot of you guys that wrote to me your warranty has expired this was like a big go screw yourself by Nintendo to everybody who had faith in their product and like us who bought it when it first came out okay and uh, you know and this is completely completely wrong so on behalf of all of you guys that were really concerned and saying now we're screwed what are we gonna do now first off I'm gonna tell you what uh, what the issue is about and then I'm gonna tell you about the solution uh, of me contacting Nintendo and what they had told me uh, so first off, what happened is when you put in any type of fake doc that's not by fake doc, they're real docs, but that are not uh, licensed by Nintendo, which of course is against everything they have uh, promised, because if you remember when they first released the commercials, they said, oh, you could just have the ease of, you know, uh, plugging in any type of thing and everything is going to work. They didn't necessarily mean just Nintendo. But now you guys, are, so what basically happens is these things now after the 5.0, uh, uh, you know uh, what happened there uh, the USB-C starts to act haywire now what does what does that mean let's say you turned it on okay now it could still work in these docking stations but let's say you turn it on it goes into sleep mode you put it on sleep mode you still leave it docked in and then you turn it right back on what happens is you still have some more juice in here and it didn't completely let go of that juice right so basically when you turn it back on you get a jolt which goes over what the limit is and guess what it bricks your entire system now I can tell you I used my friend's new uh, you know Nintendo switch and I took out the battery from the old one and put it into the new one and what was funny is that battery actually charged okay so I thought maybe this is a way to fix it maybe you know just so I can because you know obviously there's no uh, saves anymore we can't save it to the cloud we can't save it to anything so because of that I was just trying to recover this uh, you know to solve it uh, because he got a free replacement so I was trying to solve it by saving the saves right so I, I tried to do anything possible so I opened it up uh, I traded the memory and then I realized something guys it would turn on and get stuck at the logo and there's a reason for that every one of these parts are serials okay serialed uh, numbered that means if it comes from another system you can't just buy as is parts from let's say some other uh, eBayer who's selling his broken one and repair the parts on here it, most of the parts I could say confidently I could say this uh, will not work on your Nintendo switch because they're numbered again things they did not mention at all now, why did Nintendo do this? I'm going to tell you the solution, but why did Nintendo do this? This is my theory. They are releasing a new chip. Nintendo right now is looking out for only one person, and it's not their customers. It's themselves, okay, which is a big, big mistake. Yes, you got to look out for yourself, but you look out for yourself by looking out for your customers first. First off, most of the people already on the third-party development team do not have faith in the system at all whatsoever. They do not have faith in it. That's why I told you guys, and you guys, some of you guys said I was wrong, and it was proven I was right. They're investing in 16-gig cards over 32-gig cards. They don't believe in, their, in Nintendo's brand, so they're taking it slow and they don't want to put all their eggs in one basket. Okay, Nintendo themselves don't have faith in their product because obviously, instead of releasing new games, as I told you, they're releasing, you know, uh, re-releases, which everybody that has a Nintendo Wii U, until now, anyone that I know that has a Wii U, if portability is not an issue, they're not jumping to the Nintendo Switch. It's as simple as that. So... Why are they doing this? Because again, Nintendo is looking out for themselves. So they came out with the with the uh, first uh, with the uh, update, and the update what it addressed was purely. I mean, yes, they gave you Facebook, and yeah, of course they could decorate it with here and there. I'm sorry, it's meaningless to me, but here and there. All kinds of things, but that's not the issue. What they did is the real reason they did it is to go against hackers because they saw people were operating Linux on their on their source, and they don't want to turn into another PSP or or Dreamcast who had people uh, you know hacking their thing, and then before you know it, nobody is is buying any game. So I understand they're looking out for themselves, but they did it at the complete at the worst way possible. 
The first thing they should have done is they should have implemented first before releasing an asinine update like this. They should have released a way for you to save your saves. That's first off. To turn it into an image like the PS Vita does and put it on your computer. And then when you get a new one, when you brick your system, you're going to get a new one to switch off. You'll be able to transfer that. Now, what happened with all you guys that are, are complaining about your warranty that ran out? As you should. What are you going to do? Well, I contacted Nintendo and apparently they said that it's okay that you guys can get a switch you know if if you bricked your system as long as it's not you know water or whatever damage you can return it and you will get uh you know uh, uh i mean you can exchange it for a new one okay that's what the nintendo has written to me about that issue and i told them that there's a lot of people and their warranty expired what do we do and they literally said just send it back and they'll inspect it and based on the inspection if it's a bricked system based on what happened or whatever they will give you an exchange so here's the thing guys why is this happening again nintendo's looking out for themselves they're coming out with a revision chip not a brand new nintendo switch they might decorate it with a little bit more memory i still doubt it uh they're gonna just come out with a revision chip if you remember when uh psp uh sorry the playstation vita came out with from oled they came out to like the regular i think lcd whatever the hell it was called and everybody was complaining how it's a crappier uh um you know uh screen or whatever that doesn't last as long and so on and so forth because they went the cheaper route except these guys nintendo is not going the cheaper route they're going for a revision too because this new hardware is designed to make hackers stay the hell away till of course they hack that and then well we there'll be another uh, epidemic on our hands so what do they do they purposely release garbage uh, in their update to purposely fry your boards because they don't want this in the street anymore they want you it's basically like a recall you understand? As long as you use their brand name, odds are you're not doing any hacking. Believe it or not, these are going to be worth a ton of money, just like the original PlayStation Vita in the beginning. It was worth more than the, the new releases. And, uh, of course, the PSP, the original PSP, uh, it, it cost more than the uh, other PSPs that they came out, the slimmer ones, the smaller ones. It came out much, It was much cheaper because it's a system that you can hack. So what are they doing? They're releasing updates to purposely fry your damn boards. Again, this is not going to... Uh, you might have your friends in the third party being all happy-go-lucky with you. You might be happy with yourself, but guess what, Nintendo? When you screw up your people, the people who had faith in your system, no one is going to make the jump anymore. No one. Because every one of us has friends, and we tell our friends, and our friends tell our friends. And when we tell them that you pulled off this asinine little prick of a stunt no one is going to give a rats about you guys nobody and this is the this is the exact reason why now there's a lot of people that actually returned their nintendo switch said it was bricked and didn't want an exchange they said they just wanted their money back okay this is going to spell a very this is going to give a very big hit to Nintendo. The only people they're going to reach out for now is the brand new buyers really or the people who forgave them and did an exchange Okay, this is completely, completely stupid and uncalled for by Nintendo. What they should have done is they should have ma made a public announcement saying this and saying, guys, we're doing a recall. Okay, Samsung did that before, you know, even based on a few things, even though I think that the whole thing was a conspiracy by Apple, but whatever, because after, you know, they banned it, nobody who kept it had any issues. But I'm saying... Have them return. Have us all recall our Nintendo Switches. Give it back to you for a brand new one, but not just that. To say you're sorry for being such a bunch of greedy pieces of garbage, what you guys should do is you should say, you know what, because you had faith in us, we're going to also grant you an absolutely free game. Okay, you can pick any free game you want and we'll include that in the package as an exchange to say we are sorry. Give us credit. Give us anything because we had faith in your product. I myself did not break the system yet. I'm trying to. I'm literally trying to. I even had a docking station that I tried it on and I didn't break it. So I guess it's not happening uh, too much. Uh, even though I shut it off, turn it on, shut it off, turn it on. So I don't know. I don't know what to say. I cannot duplicate it. But I have seen many that have had it break. My friend who pampers his Nintendo Switch. My Nintendo Switch is like brand new. Okay. But he pampers his. He wipes his every day. Like takes care of it. Everything. He bricked his system. 
Okay, so there's no absolutely no repair on it that I can come out with. I know usually with Windows and a lot of computers, I always duplicate the problem and I fix it and release a video. With this one, unfortunately, there is no way you can repair it because you can't even get another card. So, for example, if the memory is fried, which I think is the culprit here, I think the memory or the board is fried. You cannot replace it with a new board or, or memory. It will not work in a new system. Sorry, the board can be replaced because you could, but you'd have to start all over and have every part match that board by serial. You understand? That's, that's how they get you. So it's completely, completely stupid by Nintendo for doing something like that. Okay? So any of you guys, I just wanted to give you the heads up. Any of you guys that had issues with your Nintendo Switch, what you guys can do is contact Nintendo immediately. Do it as soon as possible. Tell them that you want a new an exchange, but on top of all the exchange, tell them that you believe that because we add, I'm, I write this every day to them, you know, I do that for all the games they release half-assed, all of the stuff, and we get fixes because of that. If you don't talk, they're not going to come out with anything. So you got to go out there and actually make a difference by making yourself vocal. Write to them and say, we want a free game because we believe that you screwed us up. You got to do a recall or fix the damn update that it doesn't do the bricks. But for all of us that had our, our system brick because of your lame you know asinine move we want to get not just an exchange but we want to get a free game out of it as well write it a hundred times they'll give you the regular copy and paste message i write to them and i email bomb the living bejesus out of them by keep writing over and over again over and over again till they write to me an independent message and then they'll say yes eventually Right now, I haven't gotten that independent message. All, all, all the independent message that I got was when I contacted them after a billion times and finally got through, and they told me, just have them exchange it. Is it a copy and paste message? I don't know. But it, it's different from their copy and paste messages. So uh, just return it and get an exchange. Unfortunately, you lose all your saves. So if you did anything like Breath of the Wild, Mario collected all the moons, all of that stuff, Guess what, guys? You lose it all. And you better be vocal about that because you better tell them because I did. So hopefully they release some kind of update to save as an image file or some kind of crap, which I think would have been better than saving in the cloud because I trust my own backup methods over the cloud or have them both. But uh, the point is they need to come out with some kind of backing and also, uh, uh, you know, backup uh, thing, but also on top of it. A structure, but um, on top of everything, they have to come out with an exchange service. They need to be, they need to come out and do a public announcement for all those who have their, you know, their systems bricked. Because guess what, uh, Nintendo, you are losing a lot of sales right now. You are losing a lot of people. A lot of your devoted clients, like myself, who love Nintendo, are gonna turn away from the system and not give a crap. And before you know it, it's gonna be another Wii U, and everyone is gonna say how much potential this had, like the PlayStation Vita did. And that we just don't give a damn. People stop buying it. Just like the PlayStation Vita. Uh, when they stopped releasing games, nobody gave a damn for it. And in this case, you guys have damaged the system. You have damaged your relationship with your clients. You're, you're constantly making this relationship with stockbrokers, which is a good thing. I'm, I'm an investor, but I'm saying with stockbrokers, you make your, uh, your, your relationship, you care about your relationships with your third-party developers. But you're forgetting one key thing. Your third-party people won't give a damn about you. Your stockholders will not give a damn about you if you don't care about your customers. Because, guys, I know you have a very horrible quality control system out there. And, Reggie, you are one hell of an idiot. Because let me tell you something. If you can't see that this is a problem, then there's a big issue. If you don't care about your customers, you don't have sales. Okay, I'm going to teach you Economics 101. No sales, no stock investments, because no one wants a sinking stock. Nobody wants that, especially if they don't have faith in it. And no third-party developing, because third-party developers, they want money. And if you cannot have customers to buy that mo uh, to buy that, uh, their software, they don't want to have anything to do with you. Basic Economics 101, whoever is your quality control and, you know, who's doing quality control, because obviously the software developer and everything do what they're told, but if the quality control can't catch these certain things, fire them and start again by comp with competent people, because apparently they are sinking your ship, Nintendo. Anyways, guys, let me know and comment below how you see fit. Definitely like, definitely subscribe if there's any updates or if I have some kind of mind to fix this thing as I'm trying to right now. Okay, if I can fix it, I will release a video. Definitely subscribe. Comment down there as you see fit. Let Nintendo be 
uh, be vocal and let Nintendo hear it. Have your messages, you know, write it down on the comments so when they look at videos like ours or whatever, they see these videos and they look at it and say, wow, look how many people are complaining. Go to forums. Completely slam them with, with these things, okay? Let them know. So when Nintendo has their little researchers, and they do have, they hire, uh, every company hires researchers, they go on the internet, internet research, they look and they see, wow, okay, we got to do something about it because half the world is complaining about this. So that's what I got to say about that. So anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Comment and uh, subscribe as you, you know, and comment as you see fit. Hit that like button. Let me know what you think. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.